document, X, perspective or otherwise. They called him the man of the people. Political rhetoric didn't suit him. He said he plain talked all his life and was not about to stop. When Harry Truman was 80, he was a guest at the National Press Club in Washington. Someone asked him, is there a Republican who would make a better president, or will there ever be one? I'm going to tell you exactly what I've told all the newspaper men on that question. I've had it every near every place I've had a press conference. I always tell them that I don't nominate Republicans. It's up to the Republican Party to nominate a Republican candidate for president. And that I don't give a damn who they nominate, we beat the hell out of him. <laughs> Three distinguished men have come to the studio, men who have known President Truman intimately to help talk about him and to evaluate him for us. They are Supreme Court Associate Justice William O. Douglas, who was considered instead of Truman to be Vice President by Roosevelt at one time, and whom in turn President Truman wanted to be his Vice Presidential running mate in 1948. Arthur Kropp, long the chief of the New York Times Washington Bureau, who had exclusive interviews with President Truman, in a time when interviews with presidents were more exclusive and probably more informative. Paul Porter, Washington lawyer who served the Truman administration in many positions, the most interesting one, he was the man Truman sent to Greece to make sure the Truman Doctrine was working. A gentleman, uh, President Truman was in the eye of many storms in his career. What do you think history will remember him most for, Justice Douglas? That's very hard to tell. I always associated uh, uh, Harry Truman, a man whom I greatly loved and respected, um, with an earlier character in American history, uh, President Polk. He was a countryman. He represented the mid middle America, the taxi drivers, the, the merchants, the farmers. They all understood Harry Truman. Uh, and I, I think he radiated that uh, mid-America uh, sentiment and uh, ideology pretty much like Pope did uh, 100 years earlier. Arthur.